This is Darius from therabbitpad.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to insert a photo or a picture in Google Docs and also how to move that photo within Google Docs so that it appears exactly where you want it to appear. So I have this document and I want to insert a picture inside of this document. So I'm going to grab an image that I got from Unsplash and I'm just going to insert it inside of the article. And as you can see, let me zoom out so that you can see the whole page. And as you can see, it broke the text the picture is in the middle of the text and it actually splits the paragraph. Now, if that is what you want, that is fine. But if I try to move the picture, it almost gets treated as if it's just another character or a letter in your document. If you want your photo to position itself somewhere else, here are the options. You can choose to wrap text and break text. And when you click on a photo or a picture that you have inserted into your document, those options will appear at the bottom of the picture. So if you want the text to go around the picture, then you would want to select wrap text. And let me make the picture smaller so we can see how that works. So with wrap text, the text will wrap itself around the picture. However, if you want the picture to break the text, then you would select break text and it will appear as if it's just another line of text. So if you select in line, it'll be treated like it's one letter or one number or one character. And if it's wrap text, then the text will go all around the document. And then if you select break text, it'll treat it as if it's its own line of words or text within a document. So that is how you insert a photo in Google Docs and gain the ability to move that photo around so that you can place it in the area in which you want it. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment below with a question, and I might address that question in a future video. And also, please be sure to visit my website at therabbitpad.com.